That's crap. Um, so, good morning all. Or good afternoon, as it is now. Technically, it's my night time, because, as I say, every Friday when I do these videos, I am currently sitting on a stupid amount of hours, because I was up at 8 o'clock last night. So, just opening the blinds to get some light in. There we go, get some natural light. So, yeah, um, different video today. It's been a while. I've uh, only done one of these. There we go. And that was when I opened this thing. But today, I have something new. Ah, the DJI Mini S2 Flyball Combo. As you can see, nice little drone and all the accessories. So, thought we'd do an unboxing. If I can set the camera up without dropping it. There we go. Yeah, thought so I've never had one at the It's a lot. I was about to say, I've never had one of those before. Never had a drone. That's a lie, because I've got this. Now, this is a Timu special. Looks pretty decent. It's nice and lightweight. Got a camera. Don't know where any of the batteries have gone. Well, they seem to. I think I've thrown them all away. Um, this is 11 quid off Timu. And it's a bag of crap. It says 4K, no, no, for 11 quid I wasn't expecting 4K, don't get me wrong, I ain't that stupid. But, um, but I at least thought the drone would be decent. He don't hover, he don't sit anywhere. He just literally goes. Eh. So he'll start it up, it'll lift up, and then he just does that. He don't stay in one position. So I bought it to practice with flying with and just get used to it before I bought my mini. But... You can't practice with this thing, it's about crap. So, that's going in a bit. I might keep the case. This case, it's a soft shell. I won't keep the controller or anything, but I will keep. Because it's got guards, a USB, mini cable, and a tiny little screwdriver. So, I might keep that, but I have a feeling I'll get most of that in the combo so let's have a look and see what we get but yeah i might keep the case because it's a, a nice little case i can use that for, for accessories and stuff so yeah uh, i've had this for nearly two weeks and i haven't opened it i kind of got buyer's remorse <laughs> and i was scared of the wife because for any of you that actually know anything about drones they are rather expensive. Now, I bought this one just like I did with my, my pocket that I'm recording on. I nearly stabbed myself in the face here. Um, I bought all the extras, so I didn't have to go out and think, oh, ain't good enough battery, ain't good enough this. And what it comes with, you'll see in a minute, I am rather happy with. So, Box is very sturdy, and I can only assume that's packaging inside and potentially the case, which is that lovely thing there. So yeah, let's have a look. Now the reason I went for the DJI 2 Mini 2 SE is because they don't do the 2s anymore, and the 3s are slightly out of my price range. Now I can pretty much guarantee the price on these are going to drop like a ton, or they're going to just go out. They're going to pull them from the market because the DJ for Mini and the 4 Pro are just coming out. Or if they haven't come out already, they are due very soon. So I've probably shot myself in the foot buying this now. I probably could have waited a couple of weeks and the prices might have plummeted. But then I run the risk of, with the price plummeting, not actually getting anything because everyone will go out and buy. But yeah, here's the case. It's quite a nice case to be fair. It's, I'm guessing faux leather. But well, front pocket for your ancillaries. 
Yep. And then the mine bag itself, if I can figure out. Oh, zips backwards. Never had one of those before. So we'll get to the good stuff in a minute. Let's check what we got. So another pocket in the front, which has got your USB-C charge cable. The bag that your parents always say don't touch. I'll actually leave that in there. So we've got a mini screwdriver. So that'll be for the blades. Then the connector wires, so it bring, gives you two connector wires. I thought it was three. The other one might be actually plugged into the controller. So you've got USB-C to USB mini, and then USB-C to USB-C. Now I know there is a third cable for iPhone users. I'm gonna believe, I reckon that's actually attached to the controller, so we'll get that out in a minute. I am on Android, Google Pixel 6, so I'll be using the C to C. And then, which I'm probably going to need these. Loads of replacement blades and the screws to go with them. So you get three sets, which is pretty nifty. So then what else we got? I'll leave that one to the minute. Aha, and this is the reason I bought it. Apart from the drone, obviously. This, I believe, from what I've read online, is a power bank and a battery charger. So it's got enough. So you've got USB out, USB-C in, and your power button, and then a compartment for three batteries. And then the third batteries in the drone itself. That I already know. So yeah, there's, there's the battery. Very sturdy, quite chunky as well. Lithium ion, I believe. Yep, lithium ion polymer rechargeable battery. Ooh. Um, so yeah, it's a portable power bank. Three batteries. Which is perfect because when I eventually do take this out, which might be this afternoon, I might go out into the garden because I'm actually in the no fly zone. I live right next to an airport. So I won't be able to go up, but. I'll probably have it in the garden. I might take the washing line down so I don't snag it. But I'll keep it like low under the fence line so hopefully that doesn't trigger anything. Has it got any power in it? No, no power in it, so I'm going to have to charge it, which is understandable. Then you've got all your quick start guides, uh, the QR code on the back. That is to get to the app because you have to use. DJI's app for this. I've already got the one for the my pocket. I don't know if it's the same one. It might be. I'll, I'll see. That'll work. And then you've got your two-way charging hub. So, yeah, you, I think you can charge them on the go. Plug it in, all in, charge it. And then it'll be a power bank while it's out. But I'll have a look at that properly. And then onto the control layer. They come all in these nifty little bags, keeps it all nice and clean. Those bags will be getting chucked, I won't be using them. Uh, there you go. So, in the bottom is your actual joysticks and the charging port. So, you just pop these out. Pop them out the bottom, and then with my big dumb hands, screw them in. And there you go. So you got your return to home button, your mode, cinematic, normal, sport. I won't be going in sport for a long time until I get used to this. Your power button. Rubber stops for your phone, which I'll pop that up in a minute. Take your picture or record, and I believe that's your actual gimbal control to turn the camera. But I'll uh, 
I'll have a play with that and see how you use it. I believe you just, yep, there you go. So you just pull that out, stick your phone in, and there it is. There's the other cable. I hate these because they're so fiddly. And there you go, there's your iPhone charger, whatever you iPhone users call it, because I ain't got a clue, because I'm an Android boy. So I'm going to take that out, because I don't want that. And then I'll put my USB C in. And then literally it's a case of lifting it up, putting your phone in, and then plugging the other end in. And there you go. And there's your screw. Now one tip that I was given, and this was by a colleague at works, he's looking at buying one as well. Um, instead of using your own phone, if you've got an old phone lying around that's fairly modern that you can download the app onto, use that instead of your own phone. We have got a couple of old broken, well not broken phones, older phones in the drawer. So I might try that. Saves me having to use my phone, which means that's free then to take pictures and short videos or actually just answer phone calls. So I've just seen two more buttons. So you've got an FN button there, which is where your functions, and then camera reversal, which I don't know what that would mean because there's only one camera, I believe, on this drone. But also, so yeah, that's the controller. It's actually quite a good weight. It's solid. It's really comfortable as well. So before we get on to the main attraction, I know that's what you've come here to see. There's the rest of the bag inside. So you've got the pocket that I showed you earlier at the top. Then you've got a half your pocket. These are, are these fixed in? No, these are velcroed in so this can all come out. So you've got two half pockets there for your controller and the power bank. And then the drone sits just in there. I'll show you it all back in when I get it in. But here it is. There's the bad boy itself. Now, I'm going to be very, very delicate with this because this has got a gimbal on like the pocket. I do not want to damage that because that is the main attraction for this. So, there it is. Straight out of the box. There's the other battery in the back. And there's the gimbal with its protective cover. I did get one of them for the pocket. I don't know what I've never done one. So I believe that's magnetic. Oh, no, it's a popper. So those are your rotor protector. I'll a little bit kit. So this is where I have fun trying not to break stuff. There we go. So you're going to undo that one to pop the front legs out. You've always got to do the top legs first on this. And then, got a little appeal. And I believe they just pop down. And there you go. So it's about the same size as the other one. It's a bit chunkier on body. Wingspan's about the same. It's quite chunky to be fair it's as it says ultra light 250 grams um i've got to read up on the the full laws because i know under 240 not under 250 grams you don't have to register them apparently in the uk but i will double check all that um and i'll stick it down on the bottom or i'll add the link to the actual site for the uk so give will protect it just pop that off. I'm not losing that because that's going to be worth its weight in gold. A couple more pearls. Hopefully, I didn't damage anything. That sounds a little bit wobbler. But yeah, there it is in all its glory. Nice little chunk.
fail, I want to get the camera on the play because that is no, it is connected, so we're good. Oh, where's the battery? There you go. So you got the battery cover on the back. Something that other one didn't have. And apparently those are really fiddly to get out. Contrary to popular belief, no, they're not. And I've got fat fingers and thumb. And there's the third battery. Nice hollow case all the way through. That's where the weight is. That is ridiculously light now. Take that out and you lose all the weight. And then SD slot in the back, along with the power, I, did you charge it? Now I believe you can charge this as well. So I could charge literally all of them at the same time. <coughs> so I could charge power up with the two batteries, you can charge the charger and charge this. With all the cables I've got, um, I'm going to do a bit more research on the charging side of things because I don't want to actually break any of this stuff. This is really expensive. But yeah, that's the unboxing of the uh, DJI Mini 2 SE. So I've already put a short up <laughs> showing it, but what I'll do. I can just get this back on without breaking anything. There we go. So then it's just a case of reverse. Make sure you don't break the propellers. And then see if I can do this. You're gonna to have to bear with me because this is the first time doing this, and I'm really this is really cag handy because I've got no table in front of me. That's one way of doing it, don't. No, hold on. You know what would be smart? Read them. So that faces the camera. So it does go that way. So I point in like that. And then that clips into there. So you turn it over and pull the other wings in there. And that should come down and should have enough clearance to go click. And there you go. I'm leaving that there so I remember how to do it next time. But yeah, so let's pack it back in and show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put that gimbal up. I mean with the protector on I still don't trust it. Don't forget to take off your joysticks. I know some people will probably leave them on, but I don't want to risk snapping anything. Yep, joystick's away. Let's get the controller in first. And I'll keep, yeah, I'll keep that out. I don't need those two because I don't be using them. Screwdriver stays. And I'll keep the propellers with me as well. Just for now. I'll, just as a, a non-risk. There yep. Propellers and everything in the front pocket. Zip that up. And then, there you go. That's what the inside looks like. So everything's got a nice little snug place. It's quite a nice bag to be fair. It's not solid, it's not a hard case. Which is probably something I might invest in in the future for everything, for all my cameras and all the... But yeah, nice little tidy little package. No branding, no markings, which I like. So nobody knows what's in there. 
Well, there is on there. But you've got to be up close and personal to see that. Yeah. So that is it. That is the DJI Mini S2. Thank you very much for watching. Um, next video coming out should be the flight. Like I say, just a bit about garden because I ain't going to have time today to get that charged and get out. Because I want to do the unboxing with you and have a look at it together. I didn't want to just go, yeah, yeah, I've already took it out and just fake unboxing. So I'm very, very impressed with that. I'm very happy with that. So yeah, I'm going to start getting things charged up. See how much battery I've got in the one in the dry room. And hopefully I'll have another video up. Probably the day after I put this one up. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. I've been aiming to go weekly instead of daily so I don't put pressure on myself. Because as you know, if you've watched previous ones, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm just a prat with a camera. And a brummy with a deep voice that I know upsets people or turns people away. <laughs> but that's, it is what it is. I can live with that. I'm who I am. If you don't like it, ah, well, not my problem. So, yeah, all batteries in. Let's go. So, yeah, um, I'll get those charged up and see what we can do. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like, leave a like and subscribe down below. That would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.